In this video, we're going to talk about uh, the overflow feature in Framer, as well as uh, how to hide images at specific uh, breakpoints. Overflow property specifies whether to clip the content or to add the scroll bars when the content of an element is uh, too big to fit in uh, the specified areas. And uh, you can find it on the very right hand side. Once you select an element, you're going to find the overflow, which by default is going to be visible. Now, that means that uh, essentially the text uh, is uh, always going to be visible regardless of uh, the boundaries uh, of uh, the container which we created. So if, for example, we set uh, the height uh, at fixed and uh, we make uh, this height uh, smaller than uh, the element, in this case, these two lines of text, uh, you're still going to be able to see the text in its entirety. But the moment that we change this overflow to be hidden, you can see that now the text is uh, cropped in the sense that uh, it's not showing anything outside of uh, the boundaries. Now, this is going to be useful in order to create uh, some specific effects uh, in Framer. And um, you also want uh, to keep in mind uh, the other option, which is going to be the scroll which uh, it's not really going to be used a lot but if uh, I for example keep this uh, text at 50% uh, of its uh, vertical height uh, and I change the style to overflow scroll you will now see that uh, you don't really see anything visually different uh, than uh, what you would uh, in uh, the original but if I scroll, you can see that now I have the ability to basically scroll through the text and I have this uh, scroll bar. Now, for the very most part, this is not going to be a great uh, user experience uh, uh, element, uh, but uh, you can definitely use it in some specific scenarios uh, which uh, require maybe some more creative layouts uh, than uh, what you, you would usually be used to. Now, on top of that, uh, how to hide uh, images or text uh, at specific breakpoints is actually very easy. See that we don't want to have uh, this image uh, on uh, the tablet and the mobile version. You can simply select uh, the image and uh, you can set the visibility to no, as well as uh, the mobile version. And uh, now you're going to see that uh, the moment that we scale down uh, this uh, page, uh, it's uh, no longer going to be visible. It's uh, still going to be present, so it's not going anywhere, but uh, this is going to be a feature which uh, you might want to consider at times. And uh, looping back to the overflow, I highly recommend you to check out the official documentation on uh, w3school.com because uh, this is actually a property which is uh, deeply linked uh, with, uh, or actually the same very exact property of uh, the CSS uh, code. So always understanding from a high level what's going on uh, on uh, the code side of things. It's going to give you a more granular outlook uh, on uh, what, are, what is the best move and how to basically implement uh, these uh, elements and options within your framer sites. So learning about HTML, CSS, uh, even a bit of JavaScript uh, is going to go a long way in uh, your framer sites educational journey.